Alrighty, looks like we're live again. Hey there, everybody. It's a nasty one again, and welcome back to the next episode of the Heat is Shuffle Draft Franchise Rebuild here in Super Mega Baseball 4, year number two. Last episode against the Overdogs, we went out and absolutely kicked the crap out of them, winning 14-4 to as we blew them out of the water, getting us our fifth win of the year and improving us to 5-2 and two here in the regular season's first half. We head into the first half finale here, taking on the Wide Duds for the second straight year at the, the corral here to start. On the mound for us here in this game will be Wagyu Takobi. No record, a 11.25 ERA and a three whip. He earned the rally stopper trait, which will help out his pitching ratings in a jam. And on the mound for the Wildlands is Durbin Holmes, their number four. 0 and 1 with a 150 ERA and a 117 whip. Former Wild Pigs starting pitcher. Lineup for today's game. Leading off for us will be catcher Tiny DeGrande. Following him is right fielder Jovan Bambino. Then it's on fire first baseman Norm Phenomeno. Batting fourth, third baseman Keg Gutterson. Batting fifth, locked in shortstop Ham Slamis. Batting sixth, left fielder Stallion Johnson. Batting seventh, center fielder Hayum Colliner. Batting eighth, second baseman Slip Whoopity. And batting number nine will be the pitcher Wagyu Takobi. Let's go ahead and get it on. Alrighty, heading back to the corral here. Third game we're going to play here at the Corral here in the series. We played a doubleheader against the Wide Loads here last year. Uh, we choked away the first game of that series in extra innings twice. Uh, we then um, won the follow-up game by almost choking that one away as well. So I do believe we ended up winning the season series against the Wide Loads last year two games to one. And now with their weaker offense, uh, the odds might be in our favor here as uh, the Wide Loads have taken away from their offense a lot. Defense isn't looking all that great. Their speed and starting pitching are fantastic, though. And their bullpen, it's average at best. We're going to be up first here. Tiny DeGrande leading off. Catcher has contact versus righty active here. Hitting 350 on the year with three RBIs as he'll face Durbin Holmes, the right-hander. Holmes on the year, 0-1. He has a 150 ERA and a 1-1-7 whip. He gave up four runs in his first start, only one of them earned in six innings, so it was technically a quality start, but an error behind him in the field cost him the victory. Six hits given up in six innings with one walk, one hit batsman, and a batting average against a 240. He also struck out four in that start. Let's go ahead and get it on. Grande's ready. Let's go. Up and away on the changeup there from Harold Holmes. Ball one. Pass her down and in, check swing at the knees, one on one. Change it down on the way, hitting the ground first, diving Junior Young Jr. to make the stop, flips over to Holmes, one down. Nice play by JYJ. Next up, Jovan Bambino, the right fielder, hitting 457 with a homer, five RBIs. Change of inside, will miss, ball one. Slider put in, lined up the middle base hit. Bambino with his first hit today, he's one for one. Puts him on with one down in the first. Now to bring up the three hitter today, Norm Phenomeno. On fire, first baseman hitting 417. Five homers and 12 RBIs. Heater up, that's a strike, 0 and 1. Curveball middle in is ripped foul, 0 and 2. Fastball way, hit up the line, past the diving third baseman, and it's a fair ball. Phenomeno has a base hit as well. Two on now for the Heaters. One down. Next up will be Keg Gutterson, the third baseman with RBI hero, hitting 250 with a homer and three RBIs. Big chance here for Gutterson. Heater up and away, taken high. Ball one. Good eye there. Change of away, caught the knees. One on one. Nice pitch from Holmes. Change of away, driven by Gutterson. Deep right center field, carrying well. Fireball coming as it lands in the Heaters' bullpen. Three run bomb for Keg Gutterson as he hits his second homer of the year, and that makes it a 3 0 game here in the first. Back to back games with home runs for Gutterson. He's feeling it. Next up is Slamis. Shortstop locked in, hitting 533. Four homers and 13 RBIs on the year for Ham. Holmes tense. Change but waist strike call, 0 and 1. Curveball down, oh, Slamis waits for it, drives it deep, right center field. Did he get enough? Yes, he did. Back to back, Jacks. Fireball coming at you once again in the Heaters' bullpen. Fifth homer of the year for Ham Slamis as he goes back to back with Gutterson. 4 0 Heaters. Next up is left fielder Stallion Johnson hitting 419 with a homer and five RBIs. Slider low from Holmes, ball one, he's now rattled. Change of inside, caught the strike on the corner, one on one. 
for both the knees. One hopper to second. Asherbaum picks it cleanly to first. Two down. Holmes back to tense. Here's Hay M. Colliner. Center fielder hitting 484. One homer and five RBIs on the air. Slider low. Misses. Ball one. That's outside on the slider. 2-0 the count. Screwball away. Misses. 3-0 the count. Off speed coming. Curveball down and then turned on by Colliner. He was ready for it. And it is long gone. Fireball coming at you in the left field seats. Third homer of the inning. Oh, it's a trash bang. Hit a home run immediately after the steal it. Sign steal trade activates. Nice. Got that achievement done. Second homer of the year for Colliner. It's 5 0 heaters. This is a big inning. Next up, Slip Whoopity. Second baseman hitting 393. Four RBIs on the year. Holmes rattled again. Screwball right down the middle was taken for a strike. Going one. Fastball up. Chopped the second right at Asherbaum. He'll make play to first, and that will finally end the inning. But the heaters drop five on Durbin Holmes and the wide loads as we have three home runs in the inning. Gutterson goes back to back with Slamis, and then two batters later, Colliner goes yard as well. Five nothing to the bottom of the first. Brown lift and rush to up against Wagyu to Kobe, who's pitching with a lead. Marsha Brown leading off, right fielder tense, hitting only 087 on the year. A bad start to the year for Marsha. Here's the pitching line here for uh, Wagyu Tacoby. In his first start, he took a no decision. He went four innings, giving up only five runs. 11.25 ERA and a three whip. Uh, we did get the victory out of the bullpen there with uh, Joanna Heater in relief of Tacoby that start. He has a 11.25 ERA and a three whip. Four innings pitched, 12 hits surrendered, two home run balls. No walks, but he struck out two. Batting average against is 500 on the year for Tacoby, looking to have a much better second start. Lineup for the wide loads looks like this. After Brown, it is catcher, tough lift. Then it is locked in center fielder Damian Rush. Batting fourth, 10th second baseman Yacker Asherbaum. Batting fifth, new addition first baseman Junior Young Jr. Batting sixth, new addition at third base Kara Kawaguchi. Batting seventh, new addition left fielder Walter Volter. Batting eighth, shortstop Rob Glover. And batting ninth is the 10th pitcher Holmes. Get it home. Heater up on the first pitch. That is a strike. 0 and 1. A lead fastball there from Takobi on the first pitch of the game. Curveball down and in is just low, 101. Cutter down in the way, chased it outside, 1 and 2. The count to Brown as tough out activates here. Change up and in. Sky to center field, Brown just missed it. On her back a few steps, finds it at the tip of the star, 1 down. Next up is tough lift the catcher, hitting 163 RBIs on the air. Former Jacks catcher. Curveball up on the first pitch away. Turned on and ripped to left field by Lift. Johnson chasing it. Runs it down in front of the wall and left. Two down. Next up is center fielder Damian Rush. From Sirloin's outfielder locked in. Hitting 304 with two homers and five RBIs on the air. Slider up and away on the first pitch. Popped up to short. Slamis over to his right. He's there for it. And that is a 1-2-3 first inning for Tacoby. A desperately needed 1-2-3 inning for him to get his mojo on the right track. To the second, it's 5 0. To Kobe leads off, then to Grande and Bambino. Kobe back to Neutra Mojo after the 1 2 3 first inning. He's batting 1,000 on the year. I believe he went 1 for 1 as a hitter. Home still tense after the first inning. Curveball taken at the letters. Strike call, 0 and 1. Change it down. Grounded back to Holmes. He fields it cleanly. 1 down. Tiny to Grande up next. Catcher is 0 for 1 with a ground out. Change of inside, chop the short, slow roller to Glover on the backhand. He'll make the play, two down. Next up is Bambino, who singled and scored on the home run later in the first inning. He's one for one today. Change of inside, strike called, 0 and 1. Slider inside has jammed him, fouled back over the screen, 0 and 2. Chased the fastball up, fouled off again, still 0 and 2. Change up at the knees. Driven deep by Bambino, and that's on a contact swing, but it's going to die at the warning track. Had we gone power, it probably would have left. 1-2-3 inning for Holmes here in the second. He desperately needed that one after giving up three homers in the first. Bottom two, Asherbaum, JYJ, and Kawaguchi do up. Leading off, second baseman from last year's club, the second year, Yacker Asherbaum. Tense hitting 174, one homer, and three RBIs on the year. Cutter up and away on the first pitch is fouled back over the screen. 0-1-1. Cutter up and in. 
That is driven deep by Asherbaum to center field. Hit pretty well. Connor tracking it. He's out of room at the wall. Leaps just out of his reach. And that is a wide load for Asherbaum as he puts it out over the fence. That moonshot just barely got out. His second of the year, and the wide load's on the board. It's 5-1. to one. Third homer given up this year already by Takobi. Next up, JYJ, the first baseman, hit thing 231 in the year with a homer. Three RBIs for the former Sawtooth player. Takobi immediately tense again. Force him down and in. Just low, ball one. Change up away. Outside, 2-0. Slider pin in. No call. It's inside. 3-0. Fastball up. That's a strike. 3-1. Throw ball down in the dirt. Block ball four. First walk today for Takobi. First of the year as well. I'll put JYJ on. Here's Kawaguchi. Third baseman hitting 348 with a homer. Two RB guys for the former Sandcats player. There's good slider up and away. That's a strike at the letters. 0-1. Nice pitch from Takobi. Forcing it down and then blew it by her. 0-2 the count. Well down on the way. Just low, no call. One and two. Cut up and in. Chased it high. Strike three. First punch up for Takobi today. One down. Next up, left fielder Walter Walter. Number 10, Walter Walter. Hitting 250 on the air. Outside pitch active for the former rookie free agent. Slider middle plate, ripped over to third, over the diving, uh, leaping Gutterson's glove. That is a base hit. Johnson gets it in for third. Runner going for it in, in safely. Runners at the corners, one down. Here's Rob Glover with the RBI chance. Shortstop hitting 130 on the air, three RBIs. Trying to come through. Rally stopper active for Tacoby in a very tense spot. Throw ball down and in is low, ball one. Let's see if this new trait makes a difference for Wagyu. It's got the max boost on it. Heater down in the way, hitting the hole, past the diving phenomenon. That's going to be a base hit. One run in, RBI for Glover. It's 5 to 2. First and second now with one down. Durbin Holmes up next to pitcher. Tents hitting 3 for 33 on the year. He went 1 for 3 in the first game. Slider down and in, Bunch shown, pulled back, strike called, 0 and 1. Heater up and in, Bunch shown, drop down, foul, 0 and 2. Right up and away, bunch shown. Drop down, foul, strike three. Second punch out for Tacoby. Two down in the inning, here's Brown, 0 for 1. RBI chance for Marsha, she's still tense. Rally stopper still active. Curve ball down and in, taking low, ball one. Pushing it down in the way, strike called, 1 and 1, hitting 1 and 1 on the gun, nice. Really helping out Tacoby here. Change up, up and in, out in front of it is Brown, 1 and 2. Tough out activates. Slider down and in. Chased it inside strike three. Back-to-back -back K's for Takobi ends the inning. Strikes out three in the inning to the third. It's five to two. Two runs on the board for the wide loads. They get a home run there by Asherbaum and then an RBI single by Glover. Five to the score. Hard lineup up for the heaters here in the third inning. Phenomeno, Gutterson, and Slamis. Phenomeno leading off on fire. Singled in the first inning and then scored on the home run by Gutterson. Slider up and in inside. Ball one. Home still tense. Fastball put in, check swing strike, one and one. Fastball down the way, driven by Phenomeno. He got that one. That is long gone. Fireball coming at you as it lands in the stands in center. Sixth homer of the year for Phenomeno. Back to back games with the homer for him now. It's six to two. We get one run right back. Gutterson up next. He homered his first time up. One for one today. Driven three on that homer. Home still tense. Change it down on the way outside. Ball one. Change up outside again. 2-0 the count to Gutterson. Cars change up away is fouled off. 2-1. and one. Her ball up and in is taken high. 3-1 the count to Gutterson. Chased it down low below the knees. Slow roller in the hole behind the mound. Nobody gets it. Infield single for Gutterson. He's on 2-2 two two today. Next up, Ham Slamis, who homered last time up. He went back-to-back -back with Gutterson. One for one with the solo shot. Curveball up and away. Strike called at the letters. Floated in there. 0 and 1. Heater bounces in the dirt. 1 1 the count. Curveball up and in. Turned on down the right field line. Hooking into the corner. But running down is Brown. One out. 
Gutterson hangs on at first. Next up is going to be Stallion Johnson. Granted, that the second is first time up. He's over one. Fastball up, taken high, ball one. Fastball up and wait, chased it high, one and one. Curveball down and in, Johnson waits for it, skies it to right, but that's going to be right at Brown, two down. Runner still at first here, and that is going to bring up Hayam Colliner. He also homered in the first inning. He's one for one today with a solo shot. Had that sign stealer activate, and he went yard on it. Fastball inside, misses, ball one. Fastball up, chopped, slow roller in front of the mound. Holmes to first with it, and that ends the inning. One run in on the home run by Phenomeno, 6-2 to the bottom of the third. Lift, rush, and Asherbaum. Hard lineup coming up for the wide loads against Tacoby. Leading off, tough lift, the catcher. Flew out to the warning track and center his first time up. He's 0 for 1. Slider down in the way in the first pitch. Hit on the ground at first. Phenomeno on the backhand gets there. Races to the bag, and he'll win the foot race. One down. Damien Rush up next. 0 for 1 with a ground out the shortstop. Pop out the shortstop his first time up. He's still locked in, though. Forcing him down and in is low. Ball 1. Ball down in the dirt. 2 and 0. Change of middle in. Rush turns on it. Fouls it off, though. Two and one. Force in the middle of the way. Whiffed on it. Two and two. Cut up and away. Chased it outside. Strike three. Fourth punch out for Tacoby. He's feeling it. Two down. Here's Asherbaum. Solo homer to start the scoring in the second for the wide loads. He's one for one today. Curveball down in the way in the first pitch. Just low. Ball one. No call there. Cutter inside. Misses 2 0. Throws him down in the way. Chopped back to Tacoby, who fields it cleanly to first. That's a 1 2 3 inning for him in here in the third. To the fourth, it's still 6 to 2. Heaters. Whoopity, Tacoby, and DeGrande do up against Holmes. Here's Whoopity, 0 for 1 today. Grounded out his first time up. Slider inside. Strike call, 0 and 1. Curveball bounces in the dirt. 1 1 the count. Screwball away, chased on it, one and two. Screwball away, goes with it, one hopper to second. Asher bomb fields cleanly, one down. Next up to Kobe, 0 for 1 with a ground out. Grounding back to the pitcher, his first time up. Heater away in the first pitch, fouled off, out of play, 0 and 1. Pass ball, but in, chopped under Holmes' glove as it's off him. Holmes recovers, though, and fires in time, two down. Next up, DeGrande, who's over two today. Blown out and grounded out. Change it down and then his low, ball one. He's broken away, strike call, one and one. Ball down and then, popped up foul behind third, giving Chase Kawaguchi laying out for it, just out of her reach. One and two, the count to DeGrande. Screw ball up and in, line to left center. That's in the gap, and that'll roll all the way to the fence. Extra bases for DeGrande as Rush gives chase and gets it in. Two out double, keep standing alive for the heaters. DeGrande in scoring position now for Bambino. One for two with a single. Slider inside, check swing low. Ball one, good eye there by Bambino. Screw ball up and away, and it hits Holmes right in the face. Oof. Infield single for Bambino as he beats it out. Let's check on Holmes. Phenomeno do up next. Solo homer is for last time up. He's also singled 2 2 today. He is jacked. And Holmes has his face jacked up as he's coming out as that injury to his face will knock him out. Coming out of the bullpen is the consistent long reliever, former blowfish righty, Dwight Breeze, the second year reliever. Breeze on the year. He has no record, a zero ERA and a one whip. No runs given up, one game pitched. He's thrown three innings scoreless, two hits surrendered, a walk, four strikeouts, batting average against 222. And he get out of the inning. Two seamer down and then strike called, 0 and 1. Fastball outside is chased by Phenomeno, 0 and 2. Chased at high, strike three. Breeze gets the punch out to end the inning, his first. Bottom four, it's 6 to 2. JYJ, Kawaguchi, and Volter do up against Takobi. Why those looking to rally behind the injured Holmes as he's now out of the contest. JYJ leading off, walked his first time at the plate and scored later in the inning. Curveball hangs, chops slowly to third. Gutterson charges, fires across the first, one down. 
Next up is Kawaguchi for one today. Struck out swing in her first time up. Heater down the middle, grounded up the middle. Base hit for Kawaguchi as the speedster will be on here with one down. Next up is going to be the seven hitter. Here's Walter Walter, one for one with a single today. Outside pitch is active. Got up and in. Fooled him as he whiffed through it late. 0 and 1. Well, down and in. Strike called. Throw down by DeGrande. Just late. Easy steal there for Kawaguchi as she takes second easily. Kawaguchi's second steal of the year. She's 2 for 2 first today. 0 2 the count here to Volter. Here up and in. Strike three called. Fourth punch out for Takobi. Two down in the inning. Here's Glover. One for one with an RBI single today. The ball hangs, driven deep, right center field, carrying well. Calling her back for it, though, at the warning track. Puts it away, and that'll end the inning as uh, Tacoby does strand a runner at second. To the fifth, it's 6-2. to two. Gutterson, Slamis, and Johnson do up against Breeze. Here's Gutterson, singled last time up. He's also hit a three-run homer. He had an infield single to the hole between third short and the mound. Looking, at, He's locked in now, looking to keep it going. Fastball middle of the plate, driven by Gutterson to right field, and that's a short fence. Will it get enough? Not quite. Brown there makes the catch. One down. Next up, Slamis. One for two with a solo homer. Round of that last time up. Check swing high on the change of away. Ball one. Good eye there. Pass up. Whiffed on at one and one. Pass up the knees. Rocketed by Slamis. Deep right center field. He got all that one, folks. Fireball coming at you. That is his second homer of the game. The great Hambino has gone yard for the second time today. And now we're back to a five-run lead. It is seven to two, sixth on the year for Slamis. <laughs> Stallion Johnson up next. He's 0 for two. Grounded out twice today. Heater up and away, dumped to left center. Leaping his Glover to rob him of a hit though. Two down. Collin up next. Flew out last time up. He's also hit a solo homer. One for two today. Pass down and then turned on by Colliner, cracked the right center, hit well, or sorry, just dead center, it is gone. Fireball coming at you. Second homer of the game for Colliner as he joins Slamis with two homers. His third of the year, it is now 8-2 to two, as we're up by six, our biggest lead of the day. Whoopity up next, 0-2 today as Breeze is tense. Change up and away, strike call, 0-1. Heater up and in, taken high, 1-1. Basketball middle of the plate, line to second, right at Asherbaum. One that ends the inning, but Breeze gives up back-to-back -back home runs to Slamis and Gar sorry, not back-to-back, -back, but two homers, one to Slamis and one to Colliner. Solo shots make it 8-2 to the bottom of the fifth. Breeze leads off, then Brown and lift. Breeze due up for his first at bat of the year. We'll see if they pinch hit. They do not. It's his at bat. Leader inside, strike call to win one. Curveball up, grounded to short. Slamis charges in, backhands, fires, one down. Next up, Marsha Brown, 0 for 2 today. Change it down the way in the first pitch. Fouled off, 0 and 1, late on the swing was Brown. Cut her up and in. Chased inside, line to second. Will be on the backhand to his right, picks it on a hop, fires, two down. Base is empty for tough lift, the catcher, 0 for 2, and no longer locked in. Slider down on the first pitch. Misses low. Ball one. No call there. Peter up and in. Strike call. One and one. Change it down and in. Low. Two and one. Well down in the way. Line to short. Slam his dives to his right. Nice snag by Ham. And that's a one, two, three inning for Takobi in the fifth. To the sixth. It's still eight to two. Takobi leads off. Then DeGrande and Bambino against Breeze. Now better. Kobe leading off 0 for 2. He is grounded out and lined out. Still locked in though on the mound now. Change of up and in. Strike called in the check. 0 and 1. Chased it high. 0 and 2. Kobe behind. Fastball up. Line to right center. Sinking quickly. Coming in on it is Rush. 1 down. DeGrande up next. Catcher doubled last time up. He's 1 for 3. John Decker's ready active still. Change up in the dirt from Breeze. Ball 1. Fastball up and in, jammed him as he chased it high. In on it, Brown and right, two down. Base is empty here for Bambino. Yovin two for three, he hit a line drive off of Holmes's face last time up for an infield single, knocking him out of the game as well. 
Change of dips outside. Ball one. Change of inside misses. 2-0 the count. Fastball the knees. Ripped by Bambino. Hard on the line. That's not high enough to get out, but it hits at the base of the fence. Digging around first. He's uh, going for second. Throw in is late. It is a double. Bambino's third hit today. He's three for four. And that'll bring up Phenomeno, who struck out last time up against Breeze. Solo homer and a single today. He's two for three. He's still jacked, though. And they walk him intentionally. They don't want to face him. I don't blame you, Dwight. I don't blame you. Gutterson up with RBI Hero, though. Two for three. He had a three-run homer with RBI Hero earlier in the game. He's also single today. Flew out last time up. Change it up and in. Turned on, and it was gone, but foul. 0-1. Fastball chased, fouled off, 0-2. Fastball inside, grounded a third. Right at Kawaguchi, across the first, in time to end the inning as we strand two. Scoring none. Bottom six, it's 8-2. Hard to line up, up for the wide loads against Takobi, going for the quality start. He's only at 50 pitches, too. Rush, Asherbaum, and Young Jr. do up. Here's your Damian Rush. He's over two today, still locked in. Curveball down and in on the first pitch, low, ball one. Get her away, strike call, one and one. Change of middle in, whiff through it, one and two. Cut her away, chased and fouled off, we'll do it again, one and two. Cut her down and away, popped it up foul on the third base side, DeGrande out of the crouch calling for it, in front of the heaters dugout, puts it away, one down. Asherbaum up next, solo homer earlier in the game, he's one for two. We're seeing our way on the first pitch, just outside, ball one. Kicked off to Grande's glove as well, curveball down and in, that's a strike at the knees, one and one. Change it down the way, check swing outside, good eye, two and one. Better up and in, fouled off, two and two. Side up and away. Strike three called. Fifth punch effort to Kobe. Two down in the inning. Here's JYJ. Overwhelmed with a walk. Change up inside on the first pitch. Whiffed on it. 0 1. Get her down in the way. Line to second. Whoopity lunges to his right. Out of his reach. Into the gap it goes as Bambino gives chase. Gets to it and gets it in quickly. JYJ digging for second. Throw in is late. It is a two out double to keep the inning alive. Here is Kawaguchi. 1 for 2 with a single. Curve up and in the first pitch, taken high. Ball one as that was a hanger. Peter up and away, outside, 2 0. Slider up and in. Check swing strike called, 2 1. Cut her down and away, taken low, 3 1. Get her down and away, whiffed on it, full count. Slider her down and in. Check swing low, ball four. Second walk today for Takobi. Two on, two down. Here's Walter, one for two with a single. Rally stopper active for Takobi. Butter mill the plate. Line to right center field into the gap, and that'll be extra bases as Walter's going to get at least one home. Kawaguchi has great speed. Bambino gets it in. She's coming around. Relay throw from Phenomeno. In time, but late. I thought he had her. Two run double, and that makes it a not quality start for Takobi as it's now eight to four. Back within four. Heater up and down the first pitch. Strike called to Glover. 0 and 1. Her ball away. Outside. 1 and 1. Cutter up and away. Strike called. 1 and 2. Change it down and in. Foul off. We'll do it again. Still 1 and 2. Slider down and away. Foul off. We'll do it again. Still 1 and 2. Heater up and in. Chased it high, strike three. Six punch out on the day for Takobi. That ends the inning, but he gives up two on the double there by Valter to the seventh. It's eight to four. Slamis, Glover, and Colin are due up. One out away from that quality start, and it just got snatched away. Slamis leading off, homered last time at the plate. He's homered twice today, two for three. Two solo shots. Peter inside almost hits him as Breeze still taking offense to that home run. That's inside as well on the changeup this time. 2 0. Peter up and in. Slamis jams him. Uh, sky to left of center. Easy catch for Rush. One down. It's Johnson up next. He's 0 for 3. Off speed hitter, Act for Stallion. He hasn't hit well today. 
Fastball down and then strike called, 0-1. Fastball, and he's lined up the middle, base hit for Stallion as he's on with the base hit. His first today, he's one for four. Puts him on with one down here in the seventh. Next up is Colin, or two for three with two homers and two RBIs today. He had two solo shots. Homered last time up. Fastball high taken, ball one. Fastball put in. Line to second, one hopper. Ashbaum to second, one. Glover to first, double play, and that ends the inning. Bottom seven, it's still eight to four. Breeze, Brown, and Lift do up. Jacoby's going to start the inning here, and we'll see where this goes. Breeze do up first, though, for one today. Pinch hitting for him is starter Noah Kaiser. All right. He's got a decent bat off the bench, I guess. Peter in there, down the middle. Fouled off late. Oh, and one. Change it down the way. Fouled off. 0 oh, and 2. Kaiser behind. Cut her up and away. Out, way outside. 1 and 2. Never even threaten the zone there. Change of slider inside misses. 2 and 2. Go down in the way. Low. 3 and 2. Force him up and in. Fouled off by Kaiser. He'll stay alive. Count remains full. Cut her up. Fouled off. Kaiser fighting again. He's a good at bat here to start. Already the eighth pitch of the at bat coming. Slider inside. Almost beans and ball four. Third walk for Takobi, and that's going to end his day as he gives up the leadoff base runner. Brown up. 0 for 3 and rattled today, trying to figure out what's going wrong. Kaiser over at first after the leadoff walk. Takobi done after six plus innings. He gives up six hits, three walks, strikes out, I believe, six batters, four and runs given up. In line for the victory. Now the bullpen for us is going to be... Mm, when's he due up? Ooh, he's due up soon. We're going to need to double switch here. Okay. So we'll double switch him in. We're going to bring in Kendra Kerr. She'll come in off out of the bullpen. We'll replace Johnson. And we're going to bring in Basquette to play left field and be the double switch candidate. Okay. All right. Pitching stats. Kerr on the air. Three appearances. No record. A 150 ERA and a one whip. One earned run given up in six innings. Five hits surrendered. Six strikeouts. A walk. One wild pitch. And a batting average against a 217. Trying to get us through the seventh and eighth innings here today. He's him down and then blocked in the dirt. Good job by DeGrande. Ball one. Ball down. Bounces again. 2-0. So you're up and in. Strike called. Two and one. Slide up and away. Outside. Three and one. Slide up and in. Foul back by Brown. Full count. The ball away. Outside. Ball four. First walk for Kerr. Two walks to start the inning for the wide loads. Tying run on deck. Here's lift. Over for three and tenths. Slider up and in. High misses the call. Ball one. Push him down. Low. 2 0. Oh. Got to get the timing. Come on. That's better. Two seamer away. Misses. 3 0. Oh. No call from the umpire here. Throw ball down. Ball four. Bases loaded on walks. Back to back walks for Kerr out of the pen. Bases loaded. None down for Rush, who's locked in. 0 oh for 3. This is getting ugly. Here inside, that misses as well. Ball one. Kerr is yet to throw a strike out of the bullpen. Right at the knees, chopped up the middle. Slamus dives out of his reach. That's a base hit. Thoner comes up throwing. One run in. Bases remain loaded. 8-5. Tying run at first. Winning run. Go ahead, run at the plate. Here's Asherbaum, who's already homered today. One for three with a solo shot and tense. Is Kerr also tense? Team up and in. Inside, ball one. You're up and in. Line to right field, right center. Bambino going over, lays out for it. Nice catch by Yovin. Runner at third, tagging for home. Throw in is late. Sack fly makes it eight to six. That could have been a lot worse. Good play by Yovin to save the runs. JYJ up next. One for two, a double and a walk. Pinch hitting, pinch running at first base is going to be Electro as he'll take over for lift. Well down in the way. Whiff through it by JYJ. 0 and 1 as he missed the curve ball at the knees. Seam up and away, way high, one on one. Seam me down and in, chopped up the line, first base, foul, one and two. Slide it down and away, whiffed on it, strike three, first punch up a Kerr, two down. Last chance for the inning is Kawaguchi, one for two of a single and a walk. Kerr still tense. 
Femur inside, misses on the check swing. Good hold, ball one. Slider up and away. High, 2-0. Seamer at the knees, chopped at the middle to second. Whoopity dives, cuts it off. Nice play, gets up and fires the first. In time to get the speedy Kawaguchi, and that ends the inning. But two runs in after we walk the bases loaded. 8-6 to the bottom of the to the top of the eighth. Whoopity basket into Grande do up against Kaiser, who's scheduled to pitch. We'll see if they leave him in or go to a reliever. Whoopity leading off 0 for 3. Uh, Hefner Hackett will sub in for the pinch runner Electro as he'll take over duties as a catcher. And they will leave Kaiser in the pitch. The starter is making the pitching appearance for the wide loads. Kaiser 1-1, one 1, 3.29 ERA and a 0.88 whip. Five run runs given up in two starts. 13 and two-thirds innings pitched. 11 hits surrendered a walk, two homers, 13 strikeouts. Batting average against 2.12 on the year. Kaiser's first relief appearance this season. Today's mascot race is canceled. Whoopity 0 for 3 today. Takes a fastball at the letters, 0-1. That's up and away on the fastball, 1-1. Fastball away, pulled by Whoopity down the line. That's going to hold up, though, for Valter. One down. Next up, Cash Basket, who subbed in as the double switch last inning, hitting 625 with a homer, five RBIs. Facing a righty here, but so no traits for her active. Fastball up the letters, 0-1. Kaiser gets ahead. Fastball up, skied off the bat by Basket into center. Rush there for it, easy second out of the inning. Top lineup coming up here for the heaters. Here's DeGrande, one for four with a double. On tacklers, righty active here. Pass bumping in, whiffed on at 0-1. Facing his old teammate Kaiser, both around the hot corners. Fouled off, 0-2. Heater high and away, 1-2. Pass bumping in, ripped down the left field line, foul. Almost fair for DeGrande, still 1-2. Pass bumping away, driven by DeGrande, right center field. Did he get it? He did. Fireball coming at you. It's off the netting above the heaters' bullpen. First homer of the game for Tiny DeGrande. That one on a contact swing, no less. First of the year for him, and that makes it a 9-6 game as we get one of those runs back. Next up, Bambino, 3-4 for four with a double last time up. He's also singled twice. Kaiser now tense after the homer. Heater up and in. That's a strike to Bambino, 0-1. Fastball in the dirt, chased, foul back, 0-2. Curveball inside, dumped down the right field line, fair ball for Bambino as he drops it in in front of Brown. Two out knock will keep the inning going for the heaters as Phenomeno coming up. Two for three today, he's hit a solo homer, a single, and he was intentionally walked last time up. He's still jacked. He's also struck out once. Kaiser will pitch to him. Fastball away, driven by Phenomeno, left center field, cracked into the gap. And that is going to the deepest part of the park as it splits on Bambino already around third as Walter just got to it. RBI double for Phenomena. We're back to a four-run lead. It's 10 to 6. Second RBI of the day for Norm. Here's Gutterson. Two for four, three-run homer and a single today. RBI hero active again for Keg. Looking to break it open. Slider away is a strike. 0 and 1. Good pitch from Kaiser. Check spin inside. 1 and 1. Fastball, but in line at the middle. Base hit the left center. That's down for a single. Coming around is going to be Bambino. He will score. It is 11 to 6. We're up to a five run lead as we're back. Next up, Slam is 2 for 4. Two solo homers today, and that'll do it for Kaiser. Coming out of the bullpen, former saw teeth closer Maximo Primo as he'll take over on the mound. Trying to slam the door here. Primo, no record. A 338 ERA and a 188 whip. One earned run given up in three appearances with two saves recorded. Two and two-thirds innings pitched. Four hits surrendered, a walk, and a strikeout. Batting average against 364 as he'll face Slamis. Check swing away on the changeup. Misses outside. Ball one. Pass down the middle. Slamis, wait. Late on it. He had the distance. One and one. Get around quicker on it, Ham. Uh, curveball away is outside, 2-1. Curveball away is high again, 3-1. Primo pitching him carefully. Change up inside, ripped foul, full count. Change up away, line through the middle, base hit for Slamis as he'll dump it back to center. 2 on now, 2 down. That keeps the inning alive here for the next hitter. It's going to be Kendra Kerr, the pitcher. Subbing her off here, pinch hitting. Is going to be, let's go with the infielder. Hitting one for three as a pinch hitter this year. Curveball inside from Primo. Misses ball one. Rally stopper active for the closer. Curveball down and in line to left center. Over the leaping glove of the shortstop. Down for a hit. 
Fielder digging for second. He'll hold it first with a single run in. It's 12 to 6. Fielder's first RBI of the year. Here's Colliner. Two solo homers today. He's two for four. RBI hero active again for Colliner. He's homered with that trade active once already. Beat her high and away. Ball one. Change away. Pulled foul as he chased it out of the zone. Kawaguchi runs it down foul, and that'll end the inning. Four runs in for the heaters here in the inning, though, as we make it a 12-6 game. Neverwalker coming out of the bullpen here as he'll take over in the bottom of the eighth. Valter, Glover, and Primo do up. There's Valter, two for three, two run double last time at the plate. He's also single today, facing Durr, Neverwalker now. Durr on the year, no record, a zero ERA and a zero whip in two appearances, one save recorded. No runs given up in three innings pitched, no hits, two strikeouts, and a batting average against a zero. Either away in the first pitch, check swing strike call to 101, 0-1. Curveball -one. middle in, fouled off, 0-2. Oh two. two seamer inside. Whip blew it by him, strike three, first punch out for Neverwalker, one down. Glover up next, one for three with an RBI single today. Slider down in the way in the first pitch, fouled off, 0-1. Oh two seamer up and in. Driven to center, hit pretty well by Glover, but that's going to hang up for Colliner. Makes the catch, the warning track, two down. Base is empty for Primo. Pinch hitting for the closer, it's Elijah Gobbleson, former Moon Stars infielder. First at, uh, batting 417 on the year with a homer and two RBIs for Mr. Consistent. Four seamer down in the way, strike at the knees, little hack active for Gobbleson. Fighter inside, misses, one and one as that deactivates it. Two seamer down and in, fouled off, two and one and two the count, little hack active again. Seam up and away. Chased it outside, strike three. One, two, three, inning for Neverwalker. He strikes out two. Coming out of the bullpen, long reliever, Lola Nops, as she'll take over on the mound. To the ninth, it's 12 to six. Whoopity, Basquet, and DeGrande do up against Nops, the former grappler's long reliever. Whoopity to do to lead off over for four today. We're going to pinch hit for him as he hasn't hit well today. And off the bench will be Landon Fair with pinch perfect, and he'll play second base next inning. Numbers on the year for Knops, 1-0, 338 ERA and 094 whip. Two earned runs given up in her three starts, totaling or three appearances totaling five and a third innings, three hits surrendered, two walks, five strikeouts, batting average against 158. Fair. Fair hitless on the year, but he does have an RBI in. Curve on side misses, ball one. Curve on side whiffed on it, one and one. Curve down in the wave. Fair goes with it, skies at the right center, hanging up for rush, one down. Next up, Basquette, 0 for 1 today. Power and contact versus lefty active here for Basquette now. Pass about the knees, whiff lay at 0 1. Curveball down, chase, grounded to third. Kawaguchi fields cleanly on to first, two down. Base is empty here for DeGrande, 2 for 5. Solo homer last time up, and a double. Earlier in the game. Pass ball away, taken high, ball 1. Either way, strike called, 1 and 1. Curve up and then chop the third slowly. Uh, Kawaguchi backhands, fires across. One, two, three, inning, four knops. Bottom nine, it's 12 to six. Top lineup up for the wide loads. Brown, Hackett, and Rush against Neverwalker. Here's Brown, 0 for three today with a walk. Fair stays in the game at second base after pinch uh, hitting. Peter down on the way, chopped up the middle of the short. Slam his dives out of his reach. Base hit. Lead off single for Brown. Connor gets it in. Hackett up next, the catcher. Hitless on the year. Second year in the league for Hackett. He was a rookie last season. Starts as a free agent. First pitch prayer active here for Hackett. Rubble down and in. Fouled off. 0 and 1. Four seamer up and away. Taken high. 1 and 1. Ladder up and away. Strike called. 1 and 2. Two seamer up and in. Line to right center field into the gap. That's going to be extra bases probably for Hackett. Gambino does get to it quickly, gets it in. It's only a single. Runners at the corners, none down. Here's Rush, one for four with an RBI single today. Double down on the first pitch in the dirt, good block by DeGrande, ball one. Two down and in, blew it by him, one and one. Slider up, whiff through, one and two. Seam up and in. Line to center, right at Colliner. Barely has the move. Runner tags from third. Throw coming in from Colliner is cut. Uh, sack fly for Rush. It's 12 to 7. 
Next up, Asher Bomb. Tense, one for three with a solo homer. Had a sack fly last at bat as well. Curveball down in the way. Chopped slowly to short. Slam his charges. Fires to second. One. Fair to first. Double play. You love to see it as that ends the game. Heaters hold on to win at the Corral today, winning 12 to 7. Five run victory for us. Improves us to a 6 and 2 record to end the first half of the regular season. Lovely victory. I got worried there in the seventh when we started, like the lead started shrinking on me. It gave me flashbacks to when we were here last year and we choked away two. Five, two leads in the extra innings to lose. But we do end up holding on to win here by five today. Uh, looking at the box scores today, hit list for us were Whoopity, Landon Fair, Tacoby, and Basquet. Solo home run for Tiny DeGrande, a solo homer for Norm Phenomeno, and an RBI single. Gutterson had a three run homer and an RBI single as well. Slamis had two solo homers. Colliner had two solo homers. And Fielder had a pinch hit RBI single as well. On the other side for the wide loads, hit this today were Lift, as well as Holmes, Breeze, uh, Kaiser, who only walked, Primo, and Gobbleson. A solo home run for Yacker Asherbaum. He also had a sack fly. Damian Rush had a sack fly and an RBI single. Walter Volter had a two run double, and Glover had an RBI single as well. Pitching lines to Kobe, six innings plus. He gives up six hits, five earned runs, three walks, seven strikeouts, batting average against or not a bad average against one home run given up. His ERA stays at nine, but he does improve to a 1-0 record, getting his first win of his sophomore campaign. Current inning in relief, giving up a hit, a two walks, a, an earned run, and a strikeout. Never Walker, two innings, giving up one run on two hits and two strikeouts. On the other side for the wide loads, Holmes, three and two-thirds, gives up nine hits, six earned runs, four homers. He falls to 0-2, also takes a line drive to the face. Breeze, three and a third innings in relief, giving up four hits, a walk, a strikeout, two homers, two earned runs. Kaiser, two-thirds of an inning in relief, giving up four earned runs on four hits and a homer. Primo, a third of an inning strike, giving up two hits, and Knops an inning cleanly out of the bullpen for a hold. Norm Phenomeno, the player of the game. He finishes a triple shot of the cycle, driving in two runs, scoring three times. Gutterson goes three for five today, a homer, two singles. He drives in four runs total, two runs scored. And Ham Slamis, the third place finisher, he goes three for five, two solo homers, and a single scoring twice. Not bad at all. Not a clutch victory for us. All right, so we're at the end of the first half of the season. We are six and two, and we are still in the division lead, I believe. But by how much, I don't remember off the top of my head. So we're going to need to check that out, see what's going on with that. We've taken the, you've taken the last bottle of heartburn medicine. Who are you going to make restock it? <laughs> to Kobe. <laughs> that was easy. I'm not pissing off Norm. I need him as cheap as humanly possible. <laughs> Alrighty, what else we got going on around the league here? Got a couple roster moves it looks like we're going to go through here. First one, Erling Elwood to the hot corners. Former Buzzard starter who replaced K.O. Neomo in their rotation. Dick Lucas rolls plus five velocity. Nice. Gave the pitching machine a run for its money. Johnson plus four power. Nice. He squeezed a whole can of spinach into his mouth. All right, Popeye. <laughs> Charlie Lopez is cut by the platypi finally as they're going to bring in uh, ba former Moonstars corner infielder Raffi Slaps. Uh, Jules Bergman goes to the Platypi as well. They're going to cut outfielder Morton Stamberg, formerly of the Grass Eater. So the Platypi are giving up on the season, it looks like. Already four games out of first here at the end of the regular season's first half. And they do play again here before the next game for us. Let's sim it up, see what happens. They are 2-6, and six, so I can understand why they're giving up. Right now we have a one-and-a-half game lead on the B-Wolves. Moonstars crush the Freebooters here, 13-6. to six, Tough break for the Boots. Crocodons win a pitcher's duel over the Overdogs, 3-1. to one. Nice win there. They're back to 500. Blowfish easily deal with the Grass Eaters. They win 9-3. to B-Wolves taking on the Jacks here. B-Wolves are going to win 6-2 the final. They keep pace with us, only like ha one game behind us. Sandcats win 8-1 to one as they blow out the Sirloins. Hawkworns taking on the Moose here. Moose are going to hold on and win 5-2. to two. Moose now 7-2. Buzzards win 2-0. Oh, Jax did just get their first loss. I just now realized that with that loss today. Platypi hang on to win 5-4 over the Grapplers, so good win for them. 
Alrighty, so we have a one-game lead. Right now, it's a two-team race in our division. It's us and the B-Wolves, and on the other side for the Monster Division, the Jacks and the Buzzards are looking good. Crocs are sitting somewhere at 500. They are still looking good. But the Overdogs and Nemesis are not looking so great. Neither are the Platypi Grapplers or Wide Loads here. On the other side, uh, that boss division is getting really crowded. Five and three, five and four, four and four, and four and four. The only team not looking great is the Sirloins, who were last year's champions. They are two and six, not looking great. Nemesis not looking great either. They were the runner-ups last year. They manhandled our ass in the first round. Looking at the Beast Division, Moose are running away with it. They're seven and two right now. Harvest Horse and Pigs hanging in there at four and four. Freebooters and Hot Corner struggling at three and five here at the halfway mark. All right, we're going to kick off the second half against the B-Wolves. Let me just check and make sure this is not a doubleheader. It is a doubleheader. Okay, so we're going to have a doubleheader next episode for you guys. It'll be two games against the B-Wolves. It'll be Slayer and Turnburner in game one, and then Lucas and Parmigiano in game two. Okay, I like that. Turnburner on the mound for the 5-3 and B-Wolves. Owen 1, he has a 365 ERA and a 1-2-2 whip. And on the mound for us will be our ace, Elmo Slayer, 1-1 one one with a 346 ERA and a 1-1-5 whip. This is going to be a battle for the division lead. If we can sweep this doubleheader right here, we're going to be sitting pretty coming into the second half of the year. It's going to be nice. Now, this is going to be the first of seven straight. These two games are going to be the first two of seven straight home games now. As we're going to have seven straight at home, and then our final game is going to be on the road. Look at player development here. What do we got? Chance to gain fastball hitter for Sloop. It's a 3% chance to expire. We could wait. 6% on this one for Blue to lose RBI 0. That would be nice to get rid of. Clark, this is a decent one. I like this. She could use some extra speed. I wish it was hitting, but I'll take it. Take what I can get, right? Eh, this is a decent one for Fair, but he doesn't really play that much. So does he really need it? Eh, iffy. Ooh, nice bullpen session for Durr. Chance to get a cutter. Ooh, he would have three fastballs. He would be nigh unstoppable almost. That'll be here for next game, though. So the only one in danger, really, of expiring is this one for Fair. And he's not playing a whole lot, except as a pinch hitter. So I don't really think this is a smart upgrade to buy, although it is very, very cheap. Uh, these two are definitely more important buys for us. They're less than 10% chance to expire. Still, I'm not going to take the chance that they do expire, so we are definitely going to snap these two up first. Let's do blue. Three speed to 40. Does not get the bonus five speed. Losing RBI zero. He does not lose it. Damn it. Oh, well. Nice try, Ralph. Nice try. And then for Whoopity, trying to gain fastball hitter here. Plus three fielding to 69. Nice. He's going to stay there. <laughs> Does not get fastball hitter either. Damn. Oh, well. It's a good effort, though. Good effort. He's getting better. Getting better. He's almost a competent fielder now. You know what? Let's just snap it up for fair. Why not? Two arm. One power. Does not get the bonus. Two arm. Okay, that's fine. Solid arm there at second base now for Landon. All right, line up for game one next episode of the doubleheader. Let's see what we got. Basquette leading off and left as there's lefty on the mound. Bambino in right batting second. Phenomeno jacked at first base, or on fire at first base. He'll bat third. Gutterson batting fourth at third. Colliner batting fifth in center. Slamis locked in at shortstop batting sixth. Whoopity batting seventh at second. Clark catching batting eighth as there is a lefty on the mound. And DeGrande needs a day off. And batting nine will be the pitcher, Elmo Slayer. And that is going to do it for this episode, guys. Big win today against the wide loads as we do manage to hold on and eventually win 12-7 the final. We're now 6-2 and two at the end of the regular season first half. We have a one-game lead on the Beagles, who we play next episode in a doubleheader. Tune in for that as that's going to be a very important series to determining who is going to be probably the division champs moving forward. If you made it this deep in video, guys, thank you so much for sticking around. appreciate the support as always. If you haven't already, hit uh, hit the follow and subscribe and or subscribe buttons down below here on Twitch to be notified next time I go live and or donate money if you so choose. And if you haven't already over on YouTube, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, link to Twitch down in the description below if you want to watch these videos live, live before they get posted to the site. I'll catch you on the next episode, everybody. This is The Nasty One, signing off. Have a great day, everybody.